This is how I transformed this into a multiplayer survival game. Yo, you wanna play my single player game? Bro, a single player game? When are you gonna make something that we can all play? F you. Oh my god, I've always really wanted to play a game that I've made with my friends. For all of my other games, I've had to sit there in a Discord call watching them, and that's just sad. So, I got my head in the game, and now we're making a multiplayer survival game, boy. For every good survival game, you need a random world. And to start off with that, we need to make it so every time you get into a world, the terrain was different. So the things that will be different for every single game is that the terrain is different, the stick bushes are different, the trees are in different locations, and the rocks are even in different locations. Even though this is a first person game, you still need to have a character model because in multiplayer you can actually see the other players models. So after scavenging the internet for a good player model, I landed on this. In a lot of games these days, there is an inventory. So what I did was I made a hotbar like in Minecraft where you can store your items. And since there isn't that many items in general, each spot will have their own designated area. For example, the first slot will always have sticks in it. And for me, it makes it way easier to code if it has designated areas. There's also a crafting system where you can craft things like refined wood, a furnace, walls, floors, and even some tools like pickaxes or axes. Next up, we need to add some pressure to the game. And what I mean by this is a counting down timer that leads to certain death. Okay, I might be joking, but seriously, with things like hunger, it makes it so that if you're not eating in this game, your hunger will go down and it'll eventually start taking away from your health. So what I'm getting at is that we need to make a way to eat food in the game. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to cut down trees so you can get apples. <clears throat> no inspiration for Minecraft or anything. And the next way is to cook meat in a furnace. But studios, where will you get this meat? Well, actually, Billy, we'll get this meat from chickens. Because you know what they say, a chicken a day makes the hunger go away. Said no one ever. I referenced earlier that you can craft things like walls and floors, but I actually haven't added that into the game yet. So after watching a few videos on building and placement and how buildings can snap to each other, I made this very robust system. Okay, I'm kidding. It doesn't work at all, but it just snaps to random things. I don't even understand. Understand. But I just left it in because I gave up. And to be honest, I have no idea what's happening here. So many people ask, how did you even get into making games in the first place? Well, my friend Billy actually has the answer. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you to all right next up i made a mob in the game a zombie it was actually pretty complicated to use this because i am using something called a nav mesh for the zombie and for anyone who doesn't know what that is it's the layout for where the zombies can move but since the terrain is changing every single time you load into a world the nav mesh has to also change with it but what was harder to figure out was how to spawn the zombies around the player during this moment of the game i was at an all-time low i was debating if i should even continue making this game or just give up on it altogether. Keep in mind, this was like two weeks into making the game. I was losing motivation by the day because I had a fear of testing out the program over and over again just to see errors. Eventually, I got through it and I figured out how to make the zombie system. It was pretty flippin' easy to just use this code I've seen on screen and it basically just works. But then I also got this error. Like, what is even happening to the stick model, bro? But you know what this game really needs? A boss fight. So I wanted to make this foresty, garbage-like boss. So after the first attempt of doing this, this is what happened. Yeah, as you can see, this is definitely not what's supposed to be happening. You're not really supposed to be flying up into the air. <laughs> and this kid's like Donkey Kong slamming the player. But after a while, I eventually figured out how to do this. And what the three attacks of this boss would be. The first one was the leap into the air. And when he comes down, down, he smashes the ground and does damage to the player if they're in the radius. The next one is the ram. He uses thrusters that come out of his hand and he basically boosts towards the player. And the third ability is the most complicated one. He throws a laser ball down which shoots out lasers and it spins around and you basically just have to jump over the lasers. And with those three attacks we get a boss that's pretty complex. Last up we need to make some sound effects. What better way to do it than using the things I have around me and my mouth. Thanks to everyone who stuck through the video. If you are interested in actually downloading this game, it's completely free and in the description there will be a download link to the file which you can just download straight off the Google Drive. But yeah, if you guys did like the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. Every subscriber makes my day a little bit better. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Come on, kids. Let's get you out of here. 